Prelog 15, orchestration. Um, so I was talking with my wife, and I think this is something I want to do certainly before I leave here. Prague is only about five hours away uh, driving. And we've been there a couple times, and I love that city. It is so cool. And a really cool thing about Prague is that there's actually um, several orchestras that are for hire uh, for doing pieces a lot of times and I know a couple of friends that have utilized them before for you know game soundtracks stuff like that and I have wanted to for a long time uh, finish a piece of music head on out to Prague and uh, get one of my works properly recorded with a uh, full orchestra so I have a couple of contenders for pieces that I've been working on for a while that I would like to get done. Um, one of them I'm writing right now, one of them I started probably about, oh, probably, well I guess I actually started it years ago, but then I started working on it in earnest about a year ago and then, you know, kind of put it down as often happens and then now I'm picking it back up again and starting to work on it. Um, so there was a uh, another piece that I was thinking about tonight and kind of digesting was one that I actually wrote for uh, a friend of mine that I met at a uh, global game jam and we started I started doing the music for her game that she was working on and I think she's still working on it right now it's just kind of uh, you know I, I think she's trying to find the right team at the moment and but the theme that I wrote for that game uh, the topic the general topic was mental illness and so the theme that I wrote for that game I really like a lot and I've been wanting to orchestrate it more fully. I kind of did this simplistic sketch, you know, to just get the general point across. Um, and I've been going back to that a little bit and kind of thinking about it. So here's, here's the original theme uh, as far as like tonality and stuff. And then there's a melody as well, but you'll get the idea. So. So that's the full sequence, and it goes around, and then I did like uh, kind of an interesting, uh, oh, like it's like a mangled synth uh, sample kind of thing, you know, for the melody line. Anyway, I really love it, this. Is kind of how I got started as uh, in my interest for orchestration in the first place was coming up with these, you know, sort of tone palettes on guitar, and then taking the voices that I'm playing. And you know, and kind of turning those into single note melody lines for each instrument family. And I'm just really fascinated by that. That's what sort of developed my love uh, to, you know, the reason why I wanted to become a composer in the first place. Of like, so if you take this voicing, you know, and take the root note down an octave, you know, and then put these into like a woodwind quartet. Uh, you know, how cool would that sound and then write it as single note melodies and, you know, change the rhythms and stuff like that. And I love thinking like that and experimenting and seeing what I can come up with. And so now I'm like, oh, this might be a contender for that type of session if I can uh, get this all orchestrated and sounding good and then head over to Prague and have it, have it recorded. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm going to start posting some of these as I get them more complete and then probably take a vote from you guys and see what you think because it would be interesting to see which one you guys think I should uh, get done. Fascinating to think about possibilities. So yeah, fun stuff uh, and I'm going to actually get back. So the 30 days of vlogging, I want to give an update since this is kind of the halfway mark, 15. So so far I have missed uh, three days out of the 15 as far as just being late and then catching up. Uh, but didn't quit like there was a couple times where it was like oh it's later the day was really busy had a lot of students you know and then we were running around all day and i came back and i was like oh i don't want to do it but then it's like no i set a goal so let's get this done and so it's been really good what i'm noticing is that uh, again you know i've kind of mentioned this in some of the other vlogs but it's forcing me to you know kind of like using the ipad as an example it's forcing me to like be quickly be creative and just get it out there and get it done 
So I'm thinking at the end of this 30 day session, what I'll probably do is drop down to twice a week. Uh, and that seems to be the schedule that a lot of other big YouTubers go to, you know, like a Monday, Thursday kind of schedule. And after doing this, it's like, no, oh, that's very doable. Like doing a twice a week kind of schedule. I think just the, the act of like kickstarting the engine a little bit of just doing something every day has been really productive and valuable. The, the downside is that it's sort of taken away time from more robust productions where, you know, I script things out and do more edits and, you know, especially like with my optimized series, which has been falling behind a little bit. Um, I've got the next video for that and I've got the script. I just need to finish the last little bit. But, you know, with all the other stuff going on in the day, uh, this ends up being, this ends up taking my video production time uh, for that day. So it'll be good in the sense that now, like, this is a very what's the best way to say it? After doing this daily, after doing these small bits of work every single day, when that opens back up to like a twice a week schedule, I think uh, it will be a lot easier to do bigger production videos in that amount of time because, you know, it, it's like making the timeline a little bit longer and making the projects a little bit bigger. So kind of stepping my way into it. So it's been fun and I like it and I'm gonna keep it up. So there's my halftime report, 15 more days to go. Um, of this type of vlogging and then I plan on taking this momentum into uh, my optimized series back into freelance life and then some new music videos which I've gotten the works and I'm really excited excited to release so see you tomorrow